Hey everyone, it's Liz. Welcome to my channel. I thought I would um, bring you along uh, with me on this tutorial before I go to work. So, I've already done one side of my face completely. This eye look uh, with lavender and gray and um, darker char charcoal on the crease. I've already uh, put on blush on this side and bronzer, so I'm going to recreate this over here so let's begin yesterday I picked up this awesome uh, ultra ultra pearl mania um, pigment from NYX and this is lilac pearl so I'm going to be applying that to the inner corner let me just add that I have already primed my lid with cover blends concealer and then I have powder underneath I already have my foundation on and all that so we're just going to begin I'm taking a sponge tip applicator. This is a sponge tip applicator that I uh, got from an LA Colors palette. So I'm going to use that. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to moisten it though with some mixing medium. Moisten it just slightly. I don't want it to be super wet. I'm going to stick the sponge tip applicator in the bottle. Not the best packaging, but. And then I'm going to shake off the excess on the cap so any ex, you know, any excess that I don't use, I still leave in the cap so that way I don't waste the product. A little tip. Not brain surgery. So I'm going into the inner corner probably about a third of the way in. There we go. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to thank everyone for subscribing to my channel, t for their comments, uh, for watching my videos, my friends who I told recently about this. Thank you so much for your support and checking out the videos. I really, really appreciate it. All right, so I am um, going a sort of third of the way, and I'm also, as you can see, going a little up here. And also kind of covering the area in my tear duct there. And I'm going up. And then making sure that, you know, a third is covered. Adding more if I need. Such a sweet lavender color. It's very, very pretty. Just spraying a little bit more mixing medium. Taking a little bit more product. And that should do it. Great. So another eyeshadow from NYX, this is a, a, a single eyeshadow um, from NYX, it's in silver, beautiful, gray, not super sparkly, silver color. I'm going to put that on the second half of the eye. Meeting up with the lavender on the first third. Making sure that all that is really blended where at the scene where they meet. And then making sure that I go a little above the crease. And this is a good time to do a time check. Oh, so sorry. Excuse me. We're doing good. I'm having issues with my camera because it's, you know, it's just a, a uh, it's a Kodak Easy Share, and I'm, you know, I'm not super techy, and I'm going over the time and all that stuff, and I have to cut significant parts of the end and the beginning, and it's a pain. So, um, bear with me. All right, so I'm done putting on that color on the second half. 
with my homemade um, palette of depotted eyeshadows, I'm going to go in with this Jordana Grey color, which I've been using a lot lately. It's a Jordana, I think, charcoal. And I'm going to um, follow where I have some of that silver color on the crease. I'm going to follow that with this darker color and go um, as far as where the uh, lilac color ends. Hopefully, um, if you can understand that and see it, that's probably better. So you see? That's about it. That's probably a, about all the color that I want on that crease because I am going to be blending. And then this darker charcoal color, it's a pewter, dark pewter color. This is um, from the body shop circa 1994 or something. I'm going to put this right on the outer V. Just on the outer V. And the outer V is here and here. Just to give it some dimension. Don't worry about the fallout. We'll figure that out later. And I think I'm going to start blending. With a fluffy dome brush, I'm going to go into the crease and blend all of this. And then I'm going to go up with the blending. Time check. Okay. I'm going to just do some blending, then I'm going to stop the camera and join me for part two.